welcome back to another installment of the MLE Network brought to you by APM Music. I am your host, Fresh, joined here by my co-caster, Dexatron. Boy, we have got some Rocket League here for you tonight. The first two series I watched, those were, those were exciting series, even though the last one ended in a 3-0 sweep there. They've been great matches so far tonight, and I expect it to be a great match, to or a great match right now as well. Oh, yeah. We've got depth on both teams. The evenly stacked, I believe, overall number one Bears versus the Comets. I have to look at the standings again. I probably got seven. that wrong. Seven? Seven. The, the, bear, the Bears are seven. The Comets are one. That's what I was told. All right. Well, you know what? My stat sheet is backwards. It's oriented <laughs> weird. But you know what? The Comets, for the first time in a long time that I've seen, are at the top of the leaderboard. That's not something you see very often, or at least not in my time in Academy League. But the comments, they got a stacked roster. They got they got Jahan, Rolleman, and we're our, our favorite, favorite 15 Sally's actually up to 16-5 now. DFAT 22. And then for the Bears coming in, we have Judgmental, Zulu, and Naimu. Yeah, these teams seem to be really stacked. The Bears coming in as that lower seed, you always expect them to have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, knowing that. They're that lower seed. Not a lot of people might expect a lot from them. The comments coming in is that number one overall seed, though. Same thing. It puts a big chip on their shoulder. They know that they are by far the best team in this part of the bracket. They should not lose like the Bears. Oh, I'm telling you right now, the combination of Zulu and Naimu is going to be lethal at the throat. And this, this again, this is a do or die, this do or die day series. If you lose here, you go home until season 15. That is it. There is no second chances. There is no lower bracket. It's not double elimination. Although for some of us, this feels like RLCS. It is not quite set up that way. This is only a best of five. Next week, when we get to conference finals and then on to grand finals the week after that, then it becomes best of seven. You got a little more wiggle room, but you got a longer road ahead. Here. Yeah. So honestly, going into this one, like I said, the Comets are that one seed, the Bears are that seven seed. I honestly expect the Bears to come out here and play really, really well. They were able to upset whoever they played last week. I did not look and see who that was, but they had to upset them to get to this point right now. They are already riding in on some momentum. The Comets, on the other hand, that number one overall seed, I believe they had a bye last week, if I'm correct. Yes, they did. The the comments had a buy last week and some teams that'll affect positively some that'll affect negatively we don't know but we've got 60 or a lot of 60s on the clock we got five minutes on the clock six on the field zero zero and dfat's gonna start us off by dropping this top of the box for rollerman puts it up for jayhan jayhan's gonna dump a low floater across the crossbar naimu is gonna come and take this away dfat here has it in the corner Zulat takes possession, but Rolleman knocks it right back in, and it's already ping pong right off the bat as the teams are feeling each other out. Yeah, finally, we see the Bears getting into the comments end here. They're going to try to play it out of this corner. Just going to try to get a pass here to Naima, but it misses there or does not connect with him. Zulu's going to pick it up at the other end of the field. Like you said, basically ping pong now as it's deep within the comment side. Goes to the corner, takes a favorable bounce. Naima comes and tries to center it. Defat, though, will clear it out to that sidewall and downfield. Here comes Zulu back the other way. Goes for the ground pinch. Roll him in and Jahan double committing on that one. Naimu bangs it off the ceiling, sets it up for Jahan. But DFAT was up for this yesterday. Roll him in electing to rotate out and leave it for Jahan. Takes it in the corner, gets a weak touch. Zulu trying to get it out to the midfield. Roll him in, passes it there, but nobody's home. DFAT's got boost. He's got time. He's got it in the corner, but he loses it there to the Bears as he just can't get any offense going. Judgment is going to try to get this one out. Jahan gets credited with a shot there off that 50 50. It goes straight out to the sidewall as Jahan picks up the first demo of this series. It gets cleared downfield, but DFAT picks up. Now has some boost to try to carry it downfield. Over a 50 50 coming out from the Bears. Plays it to the corner. Zulu trying to get out. Judgmental with a touch there. Rollerman goes up to play it towards center as Jahan gets a demo. That's a shot on goal, but a nice save by Naimu. And the follow up by Rollerman denied as well. The Comets putting the pressure on early with that well timed demo, if I do say myself, but the Bears. Getting by barely, managed to sneak out a save on that. Naimu here has it on the backboard, gets it over Rollerman. He's going to run out of boost here. Zulu can't quite get there, and he loses the 50 to Jahan. The Comets unable to develop a whole lot of offense off of that. They get one on go. Jahan's up for this and puts it to the corner instead of putting it on net. And it's just an unfortunate missed opportunity for offense there. But here they come back again. 
Yeah, already two minutes through this one. No goals so far on that scoreboard. The Comets have had more opportunities here. Actually, when you look at the stats, the Comets have four shots to nothing coming from the Bears so far. And that kind of shows you how this game has been going right now. Most of this game has been play being played in the Bears' end of the field. Comets trying to just continue that up right now. Bears trying to get something going on the offensive side. Naimu does have some boost here to play with. Going to try to carry it downfield himself. Just has to get past DFAT, but DFAT. Guess right and is able to get away from them. Now, DFAT clears downfield. It'll be played just wide as Zulu will pick it up. Zulu here loses the 50 to DFAT. Judgmental gets it over Rolleman. Nine moves up for this. He's got it open, but DFAT manages to make it all the way back. And a demo there in the midfield opens up zero space for the comments to leave. 50 there down to the midfield. Naimu having a majority of the touches and both saves. Credit to his team. Can't get any offense going there. He's mostly the looking like the, the lockdown, the back third type kind of player. But the Bears are going to need a lot more than that if they want to take this series as they have yet to generate really any credible offense. Rolleman has an opportunity here. Tries to leave it there off the backboard. Naimu gets it away, though. Defat going to play it in further out that corner. Tries to center to someone, maybe even himself, but it gets cleared right back downfield. Jahan gets it away from Judgmental. Zulu, though, gets it past two members of the comments. Now it's in the comments side of the field. A minute 40 left to go. Defat gets it past one. Not able to get it past Judgmental, though. They're going to try to follow this one up onto the corner. They win a, the ball away from Jahan there, but Rollman will get it out. Zulu, though, keeping it in the comments side of the field. Rollman now passing it all the way across field to Jahan. Jahan with a long distance shot, but Zulu with a nice play. Zulu read that yesterday. He said, I knew that was coming. Whipped up my time watching, got to position on time. Ooh, and a big whiff there from Judgmental. Causes the Bears to retreat back to the lower side of the mid third. Here comes Zulu back the other way. He's got an open net, but he lets to bang it all the way to the corner. DFAT blocks it off the backboard. Judgmental looking to get possession here for the Bears. Keep it in. But DFAT says, not in my house, not today, and knocks it out to the middle for Jahan. Naimu getting a shot down towards net. Rolleman makes the save out to the corner. DFAT holding up near post. Rolleman unable to get there. DFAT gets it back out to the mid third. And once again, the Bears' offensive chances are just thwarted. 45 seconds left to go here in game number one of this best of five series. Nothing to be shown on that scoreboard just yet. Bears trying to get something going. Defense going to place one towards goal. Naimu needs to make the save, and they do. Now they're going to try to get it out of their side. But we do see Jahan, I believe, get it away from them. Rollman goes up, but it gets 50-50 back out to the corner. Defat comes in. This is a nice centering opportunity coming out from the Commons. Naimu, though, will play it all the way back across field. Jahan, though, going to keep it in the Bears' side. Zulu with the cross all the way across field. But as DFAT picks up, they're going to try to get something going here. However, Judgmental gets it away from them. Rolleman bangs it off the backboard, comes out top of the 18. Zulu gets a no-touch, but what is Judgmental doing? He puts it to the corner. Seven seconds left on the clock. DFAT manages to get it out, but Naimu keeps it in. Looking for a waterfall down off the backboard. Jahan keeps it up, and the Comets here looking to get something going. But the Bears put it down, unable to keep that up. In game one, we have overtime. Yeah, overtime here in game one. Bears only have two shots to show for themselves in regulation. The Comets, on the other hand, have six. And like I said before, the Comets mostly had the ball in the Bears end for the majority of the game as Naiman picks up a demo there. And look at that! 12 seconds into game one. DFAT ends it. A crucial mistake there by Naimu and Zulu. The team bump there. Judgmental third man unable to get back fast enough to stop that from going in and DFAT takes the game winning goal of number one. Yeah, honestly, this was a lot. This was a really close game all the way throughout. But like I said a couple times already, the Comets really put a lot of pressure on the Bears defense. And the Bears defense did a great job throughout that entire first game. But one mistake is that was all it came down to there. The demo coming out from Naimu there, they left no one back for the Bears and DFAT made them pay. DFAT really made them pay. It's not even that he made him pay. He capitalized on that mistake and the skill level it takes to read and catch that mistake that early on and actually move forward and capitalize on that. It's just phenomenal. So props to the Comets for putting that much pressure on, but the Bears are not to be left unheard of. Having no goals, three saves and two shots as opposed to the, the seven shots that the Comets put on it's, this is this series is going to come down to when an unstoppable uh, unstoppable force meets an immovable object. The Bears probably looking like one of the best defenses I've seen in Master League threes versus the Comets, one of the fastest, most creative, hard striking offenses that I've ever seen. It's going to be an absolute spark shooter the entirety of the series. 
Yeah, honestly, I'm looking really forward to it. Kamaso already up on top here. One to nothing in this best of five series. Here we go into game number two here. The Bears riding in their ultimate black cars while the Comets riding in their home pinks. Uh, Naimu tries to get out, but leaves it right there for Jayon. Jayon puts a shot off the top crossbar. Rollerman tries to come in with the touch there, but Zulu will clear it out. DFAT here has it up the wall, tries to keep it in. Judgmental reads that, elects to take possession in the mid third. Ooh, and a huge whiff there, but Jayon has low boost, loses a 50 there. Rollerman goes in and stops that real quick before it becomes any bigger of a threat, but it became a bigger threat with that 50. Came down in front of net, Jayon gets it out without any issue at all. Zulu here bounces it in the corner, loses possession to DFAT, puts it near post, forcing Naimu to make a big save there. The Comets just relentlessly putting their knees in the backs of the Bears players, not letting them get up and get on their feet to do anything in the offensive half. Zulu trying to center it there to Naimu, but Rollman able to get away from him, able to get away the ball away from them first. Judge Mendel now will pick this ball up. Does have some boost. Jahan goes up for it, does lose their life for it, but gets the ball away from them. Ball sitting around midfield now at the moment. Shot coming in from Rollerman. Zulu with a nice save and the clearance out. Defat will keep it in though. And we try to see another clearance come out from the Bears. However, this time it is Jahan with the clear, with the keeping the ball in and he finds a shot and a goal right after that. Yeah, if you did, you might not have seen it there, but the bump from Defat stopping Naivu caused the Bears to be really, really awkward in the near post. Unable to make that save gives the Comets an early lead. This is still well within reach of the Bears. They just have to get comfortable. They got to shake those nerves off and they got to keep a good head on their shoulders and realize that this is entirely doable. This is entirely winnable. They're only a goal down. They just have to find ways to beat the Comets defense. Yeah, they're only a goal down, but same story as last game at this point. A minute and a half in, they have no shots to their name, and the Comets have four. So again, offensive pressure just coming out for the Comets in this game. The Bears finally starting to get something here. Uh, Judge, or uh, Rollman with the pass there to Jahan. Jahan able to get it upfield, get, try to carry it up this sidewall, try to get it past Judgmental, but Judgmental wins it there. Rollman now, 50-50s in there. It's a centering opportunity. Zulu will pick it up, though, but too many members of the Comets there. It's another centering opportunity as Judgmental now clears it back downfield. Judgmental here has it around the corner. Rollerman knocks it all the way back down to the mid third. Zulu's going to try and get a tip on this to his corner, and he does. But Rollerman there was follow up. An awkward double commit there from the Bears leads him a little lopsided on offense. Here comes Judgmental. Can't get anything on it. And it's popped up in the mid third. Naimu left back by himself, racing back, gets it in the mid third. Here comes Zulu back the other way. Naimu tries to get a shot on net, and he's denied by Jahan. And I'm looking at the rotations for the Bears in, in fly cam, and man, let me tell you. It's it looks very clunky to me in the in game two. And honestly, that one shot there from Naima was their first one. We're already halfway through this game right now. The best, the good part is for the Bears, they're only down one goal. Their defense has been pretty solid so far. Five shots coming out from the Comets. Three saves to the Bears' name right now. So really good defense coming out for them. Defense going to try to waterfall this one down. It's going to be a perfect one, but Naimu able to get away. Jahan, though, going to keep it in the Bears' side of the field. Rollman tries to play something towards goal, but Zulu denies him. Jahan getting the ball away there. Naimu with some nice play there coming out from Zulu with the bumps as Naimu finds the first goal for the Bears. Uh, the physical play, you love to see it. And ultimately, a bump is a lot harder to recover from than a demo. But wonderful play there from the Bears to regain ground. They're back at 0-0 with two minutes left. They are, have entirely possible to take a game off the Comets here. I mean, with the long clearance, it's on goal and goes in! Coast to coast. Naimu with the absolute banger from the top of his own box and Jahan just unable to get to it in time. Gets a little bit of an assist putting that one in. It's 77 miles an hour. That's freedom units for those of you that use those. Two unanswered goals now for the Bears in a really short amount of time. Zulu looking to add another one. Defat though with the save. The Bears finally having some confidence in them, it looks like, with those two goals. Judgment could go up here for a shot. Not going to be a strong one. Tries to 50 50 J on there, but it will be waterfall down. Naimu looking for a hat trick there. Gets denied, but now they're still attacking. A minute 35 left to go, and the Bears really seem in control of this one. Judgmental here trying to take possession back at the top of his own box. Can't quite get there. Zulu gets beat in the corner. Judgmental is up, but so is Naimu. And it looks like the communication is kind of lacking on the defense for the Bears. Although it is probably arguably one of the best defenses out there. Right now, the communication is looking like it's a little shy. Yeah, 
We're going down to 70 seconds left in this game. The Bears still holding on that one goal lead. And there's one thing that they've been really good at this entire series so far. It has been defense as Naimu with the carry and the hat trick here in game number two. An absolute night and day difference between the Bears now in game, game one. They found the rhythm. They found the beat of the drum that they are going to march to for the rest of this series. They hit the Comets with an absolute right hook out of left field. And the Comets right now looking a little starstruck, to say the least. Yeah, Jayon picks up a demo there, trying to get rid of some uh, of emotions right there. That's their third demo of this series. Only their first one of this game, though. 50 seconds left to go. They're attacking. That's a great opportunity, but there's no one there as everyone on the Bears was away from the goal. Now, Naimu actually centers it for his own team, but Naimu looking for a fourth one from midcourt, but it bounces off both goalposts. Judge Mendel comes in, fakes out defense, but Jayhan able to get away from them. 35 seconds left to go here in this game. Naimu here loses control of it in the midfield. Zulu gets an awkward touch off the corner, manages to get it out to the middle of the field, but Jayhan is there waiting. Naimu has it again, tries to get a controlling touch, can't quite get there, likes to rotate to back post, and here come the Comets and a nice shot in the Bears stopping two back to back. And the Comets just trying so desperately hard to regain some ground, but every second they get closer, they're looking to drop it, and it's looking very slowly like we have a 1 1 series on our hands. Yeah, the Bears defense we saw there in game one was phenomenal, and it showed up there again to end this one here in a three-to-one fashion for them. And that was a great response from the Bears. Once they got that first goal, it seemed like they were an entirely new team. Yeah, the first, that's all it takes. It takes one goal to shift momentum because the Comets, they didn't really get cocky, but like I said, they got hit with a right hook out of right field. They had absolutely no idea that that was coming and it really it, it shook them they're still they're seeing stars and they're counting tweety birds that are circling their head they didn't they had a really hard time regaining possession and regaining momentum after that and the bears they had a they had an amazing defense in game one and now they've got an amazing def offense in game two now they've got to find a way to put that together and find the balance in the best of both worlds to keep taking games they've got the series tied it could go either way yeah it could go either way right here but i'm just looking at the stats of this game the comments again out shooting the bears by four in this game 10 to 6. however again we look at that saves column the bears seven saves across the board zulu picking up four of them there all by themselves uh naimu picks up two and judgmental picks up one however that doesn't necessarily matter as the bears i think finally found the key here to get them to, maybe to potentially to win this series right there you're telling you right now, the combination of Zulu and Naimu is going to be lethal. We already knew that. But the point spread really between the Bears, Naimu really showing up and hitting really hard where it hurts, having a, a quite a large gap in touches towards the rest of his teammates. But it's threes. You can't really rely all on one player to do this for you, a lot like you can in twos. But we'll see how the Bears hold up here in game three. Not looking great as they're starting off with a demo and a really weak 50 there. Comet's already on pressure. Get a bump there. They get their boost stolen. Jayon puts it towards net. Can't quite get it on there. Naimu here trying to get a clear out with nothing with the Comets just again relentlessly putting pressure on as they have the first two games. Yeah, and I feel like this is going to be the story of this series. The pressure coming out from the comments as Rollamin from the pass from Jayon finds the first goal here. Only 34 seconds into the game. Roll him in here, getting a nice little touchdown. Almost fell on that without boost. Nothing he could have done better, but it's just looking like that that quick strike, that like that almost venomous strike that comes off right off the bat is what always puts the Bears down early. But the Comets, now they've got to find a way to maintain that pressure for the length of the game. The Bears, they're not to be counted out early. They've got the ability to make that offensive chances happen, but they've got to get Naimu in the play with boost. That's going to be the key to success for them. Yeah, but again, right now we're seeing the comments pick up right where they left off in the first two minutes of game one and game two with that uh, just suffocating offensive pressure there. As Jayon picks up their demo, a fourth demo here. This is an opportunity for the comments, but a team bump coming out kind of ends that attack. Now Zulu going to try to carry this one up the field. Has no boost, so can't do a lot. Naimu here is, go, is going to play it to the corner. Rollman gets away from Naimu. Zulu going to try to play it in, but Rollman denies him and plays it back to the opposite corner in the Bears end. Here comes the Comets back on offense, trying to get one on net here. Naimu barely gets a touch on it. Jahan gets bumped off of that. Rollman keeps it into the corner. Zulu is here, not looking like he's got a whole lot going on. 
with Zulu here taking it back down the offensive side throws possession to DFAT who takes control of it 30 boosts along the wall trying to make something happen puts pressure on oh and what a ah, ooh, that almost ooh. caught him bad Naimu making a really bad judgment call there and electing not to keep possession of that it almost cost them dearly but look, it does not cost them dearly there as Zulu finds the equalizer here. Yeah, you're right there. That was almost a horrible play coming out from Naimu. But in some weird way, they were able to make up for it there with that long downfield clearance pass. And the fake coming out from Judgmental leaves it right there for Zulu. And what a beautiful fake that was too. I talked a little bit about the communication on defense, but the offensive communication, that's well and, that's well and good. They got a wellness check done on that at Walgreens came back nice and healthy so here they come back again trying to get it out of their own end but the comments just again relentlessly putting pressure off that backboard and what i'm seeing a lot of times on defense and it costs them right here with rollerman and if you watch the replay this seems to be a common theme where you see both the first man and the second man or if you will near post and back post jump at the first shot that the comments put on and that second man failing to recover and get back in position is what costing the Bears goals. Yeah, right now. And we see the Comets win the kickoff right here. It's going to go deep into the Bears side. Here's uh, J-Fat there, or Jahan. They're going to try to play it there. D-Fat is at the midfield there, tries to intercept that ball, but gets past him. Zulu goes up, but completely whiffs on his roll. And will play it out. Naim will get a center here off that sidewall, but D-Fat with the clearance shot coming out for them. That's already the ninth shot for the comments the bears only have two so far so we're still basically following the same kind of pattern we've seen from the first couple games but naimu with a laser beam ties it right back up yeah naimu just again coming in absolutely clutch for the bears the comments have got to shut him down 64 miles an hour the just the right amount of sweet heat on that to get it right past the defender quicker than they could react beautiful shot all around yeah, kickoff here won by the Bears. But going back to what I was saying, it is such a shot difference. There's such a shot difference so far in this game already. We saw it the last couple games as well. But the Bears defense is still being really good so far. Those nine shots, they have seven saves as Zulu gives the Bears back the lead. Quality over quantity is the mantra of the Bears right now. They are very well. They are taking their time. They are not throwing dozens of low percentage shots on net they are taking their time and waiting patiently for those good opportune chances to take shots the comets the comets got four five five six seven eight nine ten shots on goal they've only got two goals the bears have are three for four quality over quantity my friend it works better a lot especially when you get to higher ranks you don't want to throw possession on low percentage shots yeah but like you said the last time the comet scored we almost saw it there. It was a triple commit that came out from the Bears there. That's what the comments are probably looking for the Bears to do. Make the mistake on their own and not have it be a mistake of the comments or just a wide open net. We've seen the Bears do double uh, double commits, triple commits into just trying to save shots. But now a clearance downfield by Jahan gets saved by Zulu. There's 80 seconds left in this game. And the Bears are holding on to a one goal lead. Barely holding on at that as they're struggling with that offensive pressure. Judgmental struggles to hold it in the midfield. A demo from Zulu opens up the net. And oh, he can't get it on target with DFAT. Manages to get a piece of that. Got, got a save, although he didn't get credit for one. Roll him in here, losing the ball down to DFAT, down to the corner. Naimu taking control of it, putting it back towards net. Judgmental and Zulu both up for that. Neither of them hit it. And Naimu extends that lead to two. Yeah, just what a nice play here by Naimu. And the rest of the Bears team here, look, they all go up. They all kind of fake it there. But there's no one there for the Comets. The Comets were completely committed to trying to get that ball downfield and look for an equalizing goal. However, it comes back to bite them. Now they're down two with 57, 56 seconds left to go. Is it probable? No. Is it possible? Yes. The Comets have all the tools in their toolbox that they need to beat the Bears. And that's one of them right there, demoing the first defender. Got them a chance, but they didn't recover very well. And now DFAT is forced to make a little bit of an awkward back post save there. Loses the 50 there to Judgmental out in front. Zulu gets a touch. Waterfall almost out. Rollerman gets it back out to the midfield. And the Bears, again, marching to the beat of that drum they found in game two, are slowly closing the gap on the Comets, trying to get the pressure on. That is on target. The Comets, they've got to stop the bleeding. Get a tourniquet. Get your med kit out because the Bears... They cut deep. 
Make that two hat tricks in two games for Naimu here. They have absolutely come alive for this Bears team here since that game two. And what a series it has been for them so far. Sitting with 20 seconds left to go here, they are looking at going on series point. It would be a huge upset if the Bears end up beating the number one seed here. That is right. It is the seven seed versus the one seed in the Bears. They're giving them a run for their money to say the least. Looking like they want to come out 2-1 in the series. Put the Comets, the number one seed on match point, on an already shaken team. You absolutely know it's high fives all the way around in the Bears Discord. They are screaming at the top of your lungs. Akela, I know you're screaming in chat even though I don't have it pulled up right now. The Bears take game three and now lead the series 2-1. to one. So, Dex, if you don't mind me asking, what do you think the Comets need to change the most to go in here and force a game five? I mean, it's kind of like what you said. Quantity over quantity has been their biggest thing, or or just quantity over, yeah, quantity over quality has been their biggest thing when it comes to that shots. However, we see the Bears always double and triple commit into those saves. So they're just, they just have to keep that offensive pressure up past the halfway point because that's when it always seems to kind of go downhill. And they all seem to really get their defensive pressure or defensive just side up as well. Only one save this entire game. The Bears had nine on the 13 shots that the Comets put on goal. Yeah, and like I said, five, six, seven, eight. The Bears are five for eight, but the Comets are two for 13. Mm. Ouch. It's either you got the, the Comets need to work on holding possession, especially at the top of the mid third and into the offensive third. They need to work on not just throwing the, the ball away, hitting the ball with purpose, getting it to a teammate or setting up a high percentage shot. Those demos, the best chance they had when they were down by one was when the demo from DFAT came out at the top of the box to get that Bears defender out of the way. That was the best opportunity they had, and they need to employ more of that strategy if they want to slow the Bears down. But the Bears, they're riding a mental high. We'll see how they take it in. Five on the clock, six on the field. Game four, the Bears win this. They take the series and upset the number one seed. But if the Comets win this, they force a game five. Yeah, and going back to what you were talking about with just shots right now, uh, the, the, I have stats for that right now. The Comets are shooting 30 shots so far through those first three games, only four goals to show for it. They're not a high percentage. The Bears, on the other hand, 16 shots through those first three games. You want to know how many goals they have through those first three games? Eight. 50% shot accuracy, accuracy coming out from the Bears so far through these first three games. Yeah, he's a, it like like we will all mantra. We'll say it again one more time. I know you're probably sick of hearing it, but quality over quantity. You want to have higher percentage shots of scoring, but judgmental here, knocking it away. Zulu is up for this, manages to get it away from the Comets first man. Naimu gets dunked by Jahan. And here comes judgmental back the other way. He's got boost, but Defat knocks it back into the offensive end. Naimu gets it out to judgmental. The Bears making an offensive push. Trying to spend some time to get some boost in the back end to kind of relieve some of this Comet's pressure. Zulu loses to Rolleman. Rolleman trying to force something. He gets a bump on the defender, and that's what I was saying, but it's not in the Bears and narrowly avoiding that one as nobody was there for the Comets to knock that in an empty net. The Bears, man, they got away with murder there. That was very, very close. Yeah, but talk about getting away with murder there. They find the first goal here. A minute 25 into the game, and Jahan finds their second goal of the series, and it might just be the goal here that really gets this team started here. It is absolutely wild to see. Every single game we have, the Comets score first, and it's just mind-boggling that they've managed to lose two games in a row. Those are leads conceded. After having so much offensive pressure and possession in the offensive end, it makes you wonder, like, what's what's what do you think the comms are looking like in the Discord over there? I mean, yeah, it does really make you wonder. But again, like I kind of said, these first halves of all the games, it always seems like the comments are on judgmental looking for a goal. They're just a little bit high. But like I was going back to saying, always in the first half of the, all these games, the comments seem to really keep the offensive pressure up. And then after they find a goal, one or two goals and the Bears end up finding one. It seems like everything kind of goes away. It seems like as long as the Bears have zero on their scoreboard, the Comets are really in 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 the zone. And it just seems like whenever the Bears score, they're just completely out of it. Yeah, it seems almost like, ooh, a very close opportunity there. The Bears come in again. Rolleman keeps it in. The Comets had three back-to-back -back chances, unable to capitalize. Naimu looking like he's a little worse for wear. DFAT manages to get it to the corner. 
loses the boost to Naimu and he's just struggling to get it out. The Bears managing to hold on to possession. Again, taking those, looking for that quality opportunity, waiting for the Comets to make a mistake. Roll up and gets it out to the mid third. Jahan backflips, misses that. Oh, it's an open net. The Comets, they're going to extend their lead to two. Yeah, and like you said, it was just a mistake coming out from the Bears here. Just, I believe that's Naimu going up for it. Does not get the touch there. Leaves a wide open net. And Jahan finds their second goal here of game four. And like we said, the Comets need this game here to force a game five. They really do. They need to hold on to this lead. But right now, looking at the touches spread and the points and the point sheet, DFAT only 78 points to his teammates, 298. Now, Jayon has two goals to account for that, too. So, Roloman is really the heavy hitter and the most possession oriented player. And ooh, and a wide shot there from Jayon almost goes in. But Roloman looks to be like he's the most touching his player on the field, trying to get a lot of possession held on to for the Comets roster. And the Comets, let me tell you, they're coming back. They, they're they up against the wall. Two demos there from the Comets, and they can't capitalize as Zulu keeps this in. The Comets have it down. DFAT gets it over. The Bear are struggling to get it clear, and they do. And, man, you cannot throw opportunities like that if you want to win a series. No, you cannot, but this might be another mistake coming out from the Comets. No one back. Naimu rushing back as DFAT going to try to get something going here. It's going to be a shot just a little wide, but a double commit coming out does not necessarily go away. Jayhan with the shot. Zulu with an incredible save to keep this game only a two-goal deficit. Zulu stays playing defense here. Gets the demo coming out there from Judgmental. This could be their chance here to try to get something going the offensive way. Nah, it's looking slim. The Comets, so many missed opportunities. And again, taking those low percentage shots. You see a miscommunication there from DFAT when he went to go hold on to it. And Rolleman came flying by at Mach 7 to try and get that in the net. And he just touched it out of his range. So many missed opportunities. The Comets could have had another one there. But unfortunately, the Bears just managing to hold on. Zulu especially holding on that defensive line. Not giving the Comets an inch more than they have already taken the bears though continue to attack right here one goal might just breathe them some life in this game but that's a pass from judgmental to roman roman will clear the one all the way downfield just a little wide now they're gonna try to get a centering opportunity here but zulu's gonna play it up to naimu naimu whiffs on that one leaves it for judgmental judgmental gonna try to do something here but jahan gets it away from them 15 seconds left to go and it seems like we might be going to a game five here it's getting very very close Comets looking for an insurance goal. DFAT puts that one in, and that's out of reach of the Bears. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a game five versus the seven seed and the one seed. We've been here before. I'm sure we'll be here again. Buckle up, because it's going to be wild. 10 seconds left to go in this one here. If the Bears can find a goal here before this game end, I always call it a confidence goal. Give them something that makes sure that they know they can still score going into this final pivotal game five in a do or die situation. Naimu is up for this, gets a pop up into the air. Rolleman gets a touch in the mid third to mock it back down to midfield. Zulu is gonna keep this up. Naimu is collecting pads. He's gonna lose to DFAT who puts this down and forces game five. Yeah, I mean, the way this series has gone, I was hoping we'd see a game five and they, these two teams delivered it there. The Comets actually delivering that one here to us. But again, I talked about the Comets need to keep that offensive pressure up a little bit, like how they normally done in all the first halves of every game. And this time they kept it up throughout the entire game. 10 shots for them, only three shots for the Bears there. Yeah, the Bears had five saves. When you only get three shots on yourselves and the other team scores three, you better be hoping all three of those shots go in. Yeah. And we're taking a look real quick. Naimu actually bottom fragging this game, but all Bears players were in 80 points of each other. They had five saves and three shots for the team. Again, the Comets with that unrelenting pressure, but they, those low percentage shots, man, they're just not working for that roster. That might have gotten you this far, but it's not going to get you past the Bears. The Bears defense is that un immovable object that I talked before. But that Comets offense, man, when it works, it works. But when it's not there, it's not. They've got to they've got to find that middle ground between good offense and you know high percentage offense to kind of put the ball in the back of the net. But this is it, Dex. This is the last game that one of these teams is going to play for the entire season. 
This is what everyone is here to see. A do or die game five here between the number one seed Comets and the number seven seed Bears. Did you think you'd see that game here tonight? No, I necessarily did not, but we're here anyway. This is going to be a barn burner of a match here. Zulu going to try to get it out of their own end. Nymo goes up for it, gets a touch, but plays it to the corner. If you haven't already thrown your popcorn and cheering yet, you will after this game. Roloman's getting off really deep into the offensive end, gets the 50 out to the mid, but nobody there from the comments as they both rotate in late. Zulu here takes a 50 with DFAT, manages to get it down into the offensive end. Jayhawk gets a touch out to the mid. Naimu's already up for this, puts it off the backboard. Zulu jumped for that yesterday, but he can't get it on target as Roloman here taking possession there, moving it back down the field as Comets start off with one just gets an unfortunate redirect off the defender there you hate to see it but the comets in all five games start us off with a scoring yeah 45 seconds into this one Rollman picking up right where they left off in game four five, or in no my bad uh yeah in game four they're finding a goal there that's a huge goal for them gives them the lead gives them a little bit more confidence as the bears always kind of seem to struggle when they're behind however if they can find a goal they're always right back in it from the Bears back the other way in the midfield. Judgmental gets beat. Zulu is up for this. Manages to get a touchdown to Naimu, who whiffs the ball or gets a very weak hit. Let me correct myself. Out to Judgmental out here trying to get the offense going. Another fake there. Jahan didn't know what hit him. Got absolutely blindsided. That was a flashbang of a fake from Judgmental there. And Zulu, an absolute heater at 70 miles an hour in the top 90. Wow. Yeah, nothing Jahan could have done there. And now, like we saw in games two and three, do we see the Bears absolutely just turn on the offensive pressure here? We're only a minute and seven into this game five here. It's all tied up again. Zula picks up a demo already, their second one of this game. Uh, we see Naimu going to try to center here to someone, but no one's there to answer that pass. Rolamendo will clear it downfield. Jahan here getting a 50 down into the field, gets it in the corner. Defats patiently waiting at the top of the box for a touch. Can't quite get it there. Rollman pushing in on the left side, trying to get something going. Grabs the mid boost, rotates out. Here comes Naimu back the other way. Zulu gets a, or Naimu gets a demo accidentally. Zulu gets that off the post, can't get it there. The Comets again, working on that pressure. They get a demo there. Zulu is bumped. Comets looking for an insurance goal. Defect doesn't have the angle for it. Another demo, the physical play is coming out. These teeth are fighting. Correction, let me start that sentence over. <laughs> These teams are fighting tooth and nail, and they are beating hard on each other trying to get this lead up. Judgmental trying to get a shot there, but Jayon's able to get the ball past one member of the Bears. Has to only beat, actually, the rotations are back there for the Bears. A back pass coming out. Naimu tries to get away from Defat, but Defat plays it to the side wall. Uh, Roman clearing it all the way downfield. Judgmental's going to be there to save the ball and play it out to the corner, but Jayon's going to try to get it out away from him. Staring opportunity coming out, a double commit coming out as Naimu plays it all the way downfield, but Rollman is there. Judgmental getting a touch here, electing to buy his, team, buy his team time, gets a demo there, but the Comets were already up for it. Here comes Rollman back the other way, looking for a dunk, gets one on Zulu, but Naimu follows that up, gets it out to DFAT, who puts it on target. Judgmental makes the save. DFAT has enough boost for a second touch, but Zulu dribbles it right over Jahan and DFAT, and nobody's home for the Comets on offense again. Yeah, Zulu getting that demo in the back there. That's already their third demo of this game. We've seen a lot more demos this game coming out from each side. Already six demos here in game five. I don't think we've seen that many demos throughout this entire series or uh, in every individual game this series right now. But the comments here are attacking less than two minutes to go now. We could be in golden gold territory right now. Rollman going to try to center here out of the corner as Zulu again. That's their fourth demo. Naimu clearing it back down into the comments side. Also, I would like to note the DFAT is in the Fennec with the Pigeon Topper, like we talked about on Open Net. Man is a man is a one-man army over there. DFAT, love to see it. It looks great. And you're playing great, too. So keep that up. But Zulu Just getting a nice corner shot to give the Bears a one-goal lead. And they're dangerously low on the clock with only a minute 30 left. The Comets, you got to find something. Look at that pass from Judgmental and the placement by Zulu. That might put the, the Bears there into the semifinals. Uh, we have 89 ticks left to go in this game. Now the Comets, they've struggled from playing from behind this entire series. The Bears need to find a or just a, a, a little bit of an insurance goal here, but there's still a lot of time left. The Comets have had this offensive pressure this entire series, but the Bears defense starting to come out. 
Yeah, the Comet's bringing those demos out. Ooh, that one goes off the crossbar. The Bears almost secure, almost a sure victory. The Comet's managed to keep it out. Naimu gets a touch over one. Can't get it past D-Fed as he 50s it out to the opposite side. Zulu is up for this. No double. Judgmental pops it. Oh, and a miscommunication there comes out from the Bears and gets them a loss of possession. The Bears, you know, those, those demos there, if you can't beat them, delete them. Can't defend the net if you're not on the field. That's the mentality of the Comets, too, right now with that physical play coming out. And so far, in the first little bit of the match, it was working for them. Naimu trying to carry that one downfield. 30 seconds left to go. The Bears cannot make a mistake here. They cannot do a double commit on the offensive side. Zulu looking to end it here and now. But now a double commit comes out. This could be the mistake. This could be what the comments were looking for. Jayon's going to try to get a pass here. But I believe we see, I believe that Zulu get it away. Judge Mendel picks up a demo. That's their second one of this game. Naimu plays it back downfield as the countdown begins. 10 seconds on the clock, less than that. Now roll him in. That's really looking to get it out. Oh, no. And a fatal whiff from the corner secures the, well, nearly secures. We won't put a pin in it yet, but that is almost certainly the last nail in the coffin for the Comets. This defat is unable to get back to that. The Comets, oh no. Judgmental finds his first goal of the series, and it's going to be the one that, like you said, puts the nail in the coffin here. The Bears upsetting the number one seed in the Masters League here. The Comets in five games. What a series coming out from them. The Bears already beat the two seed. They have now beat the number one seed. That puts them into the Blue Conference final. Or was it blue? Orange conference. Orange conference. Fine. One of the conferences. It's one like, of the whatever doesn't matter. The colors don't matter. They're in it. They are going on to have a contention for that spot in the grand finals. I haven't seen the rest of the report cards yet, so I can't even tell you who they're playing. <laughs> but what a show by the Bears. The Comets forced a game five, but the Bears really hit the Comets hard this series. Yeah, let's just, I'm just looking over all the stats I kind of wrote down for the series. Every game was really close that the Comets won. Like that first game went to overtime. It ended in 12 seconds as the Comets were able to fi finish that one off really quickly. But then those next two games, the Bears were able to find goals. And like I kind of said throughout the entire series, once they get that one goal, it seems like the entire confidence of that team just changes it seems like they're more confident with their plays their rotations while we still did see a couple double and triple commits come out from them on the defensive side it just seemed like the bears kind of settled down into the series as they were able to score goals yeah and what's even funnier is that the bears one of their heavier hitters yz who's not on the field wasn't on the field tonight um you like i said he wasn't on the field he's a 16th cell so props to the bears for coming out and absolutely not destroying the Comets, but they put up a massive fight in the Comets. Oh boy, they're gonna they're gonna have a hard time in the locker room or in the in the pit stop for that one because man, they were so close. They came out so strong, scoring first every single game, but they could never retain that lead. The Bears adding to that reputation, coming down from a deficit and winning two of the la or three of the last four. Just absolute wonderful display of display of skill. Yeah, and again, I'm just going to go back to some of the stats we talked about. Just shots throughout this entire series. The Comets, 48 shots the entire series. Only eight goals to show for it. The Bears, on the other hand, 24 shots, 11 goals to show for it. A much better percentage coming out from them there. A demos, that last game had more demos than we saw the entire series combined. The Bears themselves had eight. The Comets only had one. That was their biggest thing there. Because in all the games that the Comets won, they led in demos. Yeah, well, they certainly led in a lot, but the Comets, they ain't leading the series no more because the Bears are moving on. But don't go anywhere. Stick around. We've got more Rocket League action. We've got one more series on the docket for tonight. I didn't look at the list. I didn't have it pulled up because I opened it Rockets is, DM. But going, what, what we got? It's going to the Academy League next, I believe, as the Shadow take on the Demons the demolition it is not oh my bad a, i mean <laughs> i'm going to be honest with you you're not far off the demolition are demons on the field but do not go anywhere stick around that is an absolute must watch series and i'm so glad that it got on stream we will be right back after this short break 